All right, over the past couple of weeks, I've been working on a replacement driver joystick. Um, I bought some of these uh, RC transmitters. They're meant to work off of uh, RF at 2.4 gigahertz, but I uh, gutted the internals and uh, replaced it with um, a Teensy microcontroller and some custom software. And so we plug it in, comes up, it's got an LCD to read out your um, trigger and wheel position. And you can see I got a driver station up in the background here, so you, hopefully you can see indicating the position change. Um, and then the buttons, there's six buttons total. Those each work and report back to the driver station. Um, the way that they're wired up, you can only use, you can only press one at a time. Um, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for the, uh, the driver. But um, if we wanted to, we can still add our own like custom switches like we did on the last rev. Uh, so if you want to have like a toggle here, and those could work in parallel, just wire them up differently to the to the microcontroller. Um, there's also a built-in calibration feature. Uh, so if you we had to replace the potentiometers that are driving the trigger or the wheel, um, or if the cal comes out for some reason, um, or if we have two of these and we want the cal to be stored on the devices, so they all report their zero and their min max values is the same. So there's no special robot code. Um, you just hold down the uh, this left or the right menu button here while it turns on for five seconds, and then it enters cal cal mode. That's what the CA is supposed to indicate, and then it reads out the current position of each axis. You just run it through the min and max. just keeping track of the min and max values and then you hold down the uh, right menu button again for five seconds and that will store the cal data out to EEPROM so that'll persist through reboot feature is that it has rumble support uh, you can control the intensity and it can also be pulsed and that's all controllable through the driver station so the robot code could uh, control that so if in like the last 10 seconds or 20 seconds of the match you wanted to send a notification to the driver It'll vibrate a motor right on his hand, or her hand. Um, and there's also LEDs uh, on the PCB below all the buttons uh, that can be turned on and off. Uh, I have them all turned off right now, but as like a feature add, we could control the state um, of those through the robot code as well. As you can see, when I plug it in, they turn on. So. They all light up um, at once. You can't control individual ones. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty sweet. I think I'd like to get people's hands on it, see what everybody thinks, and uh, hopefully it can be used this season.